Hey Blade Ops, today we're checking out the uh, new CRKT fixed blade, uh, the Obake, uh, designed by Lucas Burnley. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, we met him at SHOT Show. He was demoing his new knife. Very nice, uh, very cool in showing us kind of his design ideas behind the blade um, and how it works. One cool thing he showed us about the sheath when you have this um, tether on it. You can hook this to your belt loop and then stick the knife um, in your waistband and as you pull the knife out the knife remains sheathed until you reach the end of the tether and then the knife um, pulls out so it was a pretty cool system he showed us you know you could put it in your pocket uh, front waistband rear waistband vertically a little bit horizontal or diagonal and then when you pull it out it clears through the tether it was a, it was a pretty cool demo and I enjoyed that he was taking his time to to show us how it worked so Props to Lucas, um, and overall a great design. There's the sheath. You got some other lashing points there, or and it also comes with this belt loop that you can hook it on like so. So that's pretty cool. Comes with that, and overall um, a great value. I think the street price on these is forty dollars. That's with the shipping and everything included. So great design at a great price, and set that down. Here's the blade. That is an 8 CR13 MOV steel blade with an etched pattern on it, so really cool look. And this has a, I think they're calling this a faux ray skin paracord wrap. Has some really nice grip to it. Um, you, think, you would think because the design is so straight and slim that it wouldn't grip, but um, the, the handle's very, very nice. See the blade there, CRKT logo, and then on the back, the name of the blade. You can kind of see it. When you have the knife in your own hand, it's a little easier to see. Obake. Um, overall, I think the Obake makes a great uh, fixed blade if you're going to everyday carry one. Uh, military type thing, backup blade. It comes razor sharp. But of course, I'd love to know what you guys have to say, your first impressions of the blade. Uh, comment down below and check it out. Blade Ops.